Hi, this is Angela Murata at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. I had a couple folks ask about how to find the area to add a visual scene. So I was going to do a quick run through of that. So here's the main page, the home page. I'm on Go Talk Now Plus, but the same process would work on Go Talk Now or even on Go Talk Now Lite, the free version. The problem with the three free version is you don't have any way to back up or share that. But if you just need something quick in the moment and that's all you had, you can still do this. So I'm going to go into Page Editor, and this is usually what you see, um, a grid. In order to add a visual scene page, tap the plus. Add blank scene page. I'm going to title this one Playground. Um, and I'm going to set a font if I want to. I usually like this Arial Rounded Bold. You can add an icon, but I don't usually do that on visual scenes because it kind of takes away from the scene itself. And then tap Done. And then it walks you through. Um, I'm going to set... Uh, the image for the background by tapping over here on this little tiny thing on the far right. I find it easier to find my picture in advance out on the internet and save it to the camera roll, but you can do an internet search within the app as well. Um, I typically use real photos. Most of my kids could relate to that better. If I was going to use a visual scene, there was a reason for that, and it usually was I wanted that very real contextual clues of the environmental clues. So often it was maybe a picture of the playground equipment at that exact school, or maybe the indoor gym area at the facility where I was working, something that they would recognize. Um, so I already went out and I just found one randomly and you can zoom in. And I liked this one because it's not real kids. It's just a, a drawing. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap this little plus sign on the left. And then you can drag these around and resize them. And then tap and set your action. And maybe he looks like he's walking away. So I'm going to make that one say time to go. Time to go? Time to go? Okay, and then I'm going to add another one. Uh, maybe this little boy is going to ask for a turn on the slide. Or maybe, hey, there's two slides. Maybe he's going to say, want to race? And set an action. I'm going to show you, you can also use recorded audio. Want a race? Want a race? So you can do that. And then I'm going to add one over here. And maybe this little boy on the swing is going to say something like push me. Push me higher. Push me higher. And then I'm going to go over into player mode. And just ignore that for right now. I'll show you how to get rid of that. Um, so here's our playground. Want a race? Push me higher. Time to go. And then... We can also add some things here in quick buttons. So let me go back by three. I'm doing a three finger swipe down. I had turned off that home button again. Usually on visual scene pages, I like to keep them super simple. Um, and so I'm going to go back over here. In order to get rid of that empty grid that you don't need if you're just wanting a visual scene, you're going to go into this three page of papers, edit, and get rid of that one. Done. If I want to add some of these quick buttons here, like maybe quick things like uh, again, um, that was fun, uh, whatever. You can have those, but you don't have to. 
So I'm going to go over into my settings. And if I don't want that, I'm going to toggle off quick buttons. That's also where you would toggle off that home button and navigation buttons. And then I'm going to go back into player. Want to race? Push me higher. Time to go. So you can see how simple that is, visually simple. And if I wanted to have extra, do you even have the option to do a hybrid scene that adds the buttons? And you can change that background color to blend in a little bit more. And so those can be along the left. You have four buttons you can add, but you don't have to use all of them. Left, right, top, bottom. If you do that, you can see you may have to move the picture around. I usually don't use the hybrid scene, but I have on occasion. So I'm going to go, I think I'll add another one here. He looks a little tired now, so maybe, uh, or maybe he wants to say, yes, sure, I'll race you. Sure, I'll race you. I bet I'll win. Sure, I'll race you. I bet I'll win. And then go back into player. Sure, I'll race you. I bet I'll win. Want to race? Push me higher. Time to go. Oh, and one last thing I want to show you. Uh, back in page editor. You can highlight tappable areas in the player. So I'm going to toggle that on so you can see. So now that adds these slightly purplish shaded areas that show you where you've recorded things. And so often when teaching these, I would turn that part on so the kids could see where the hot spots were. Time to go. And then once they had an idea on that, I would go back and toggle that off um, just because it makes the scene a little clearer. Time to go. So I hope this helps.